What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I live in a van, travel to cool places, and sometimes I game in my van, you know. It's pretty cool. I'm out of breath, hold up, give me a second. But I've been here in this national forest today and I've been really bored. The sun's going down, it's getting kind of spooky. So I was thinking, you know what, let's lighten the mood a little bit. Let's pick up that daggum camera and start filming a movie. What type of movie are we filming today, you ask you two? I have no freaking idea, but I'm thinking about making a cozy little fire in this nice convenient fire pit that's placed right in front of my van. Maybe making some delicious dinner, maybe playing a little video game or two, or we could just hang out and film this and this will never go live and I'll just be talking to myself. Whatever works because it's occupying my mind right now and that's all that matters, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So the sun is setting real quick, so we gotta spark up some flames before it gets too dark and spooky, cause I'm out here by myself and when the sun goes down, it gets real spooky. Millie, let's go, let's go find some firewood. Come on, Millie. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my vlog, bro. Right now, we're building a fire in the middle of the freaking woods, bro. It's gonna be so tight. Make sure to smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. So anyway, I'm gonna find some wood here for the fire. This seems like a really good solid stick that'll burn nice and great. This is just a nice little, good old fashioned pine wood. Billy, can you please help me find some sticks? I am having trouble right now. I need more sticks like this. Can you help me find more sticks? Okay, you, you take that one back to the fire pit. I'll find another one, okay? Okay, Millie, you carry this one and I'll carry this one, come on. That should be a good starting point. Now we just gotta break it up into usable pieces. Yeah, Millie, you get that side, I'll get this side, okay? Uh. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, you take care of that one, I'll take care of this one, okay? Sound good? Okay, so the way you wanna start a fire, okay? Listen up, listen up, boys and girls. The way you wanna start a fire out in the wilderness, you gotta get some dead leaves off the ground. Make sure, though, they are dead and dry. I'm being so loud right now. So you wanna take a big old clump of these bad boys, light your lighter, and let the world burn. Just like that, baby. Yeah! Let it build up. Be patient, okay? Making a fire takes patience. Give it a little blow. Try not to burn your luscious locks. And then as you start building up more and more coals, you can start throwing some bigger sticks on. Millie, where are you going? I'm hot and you're cold and you go around like you know who I am but you don't and you got me on my toes Okay, the sun has officially set, and now I am amongst the darkness of this forest, all alone, <laughs> trying to gather some firewood, and I'm not gonna lie, guys, it's kinda spooky. You start hearing noises, if you listen for too long, you start seeing things move, if you stare for too long, um, and you might be asking, why am I walking so far away from my campsite right now? Well, that is because earlier, when I was walking around, I found a bundle of wood, like thick boys. That would be great to burn throughout the night. Gosh, this, I feel like I'm playing the Blair Witch right now. Like we're in the Blair Witch and we're gonna find some effigies in the trees. Bullet! <whistles> Come on, boy. Come on, bullet. Bullet! Come on! <laughs> um, I hope I can find my way back to the campsite. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Why is there a random recliner in the middle of the woods? Okay, there was just a weird humming that I heard. I 
I think that's a plane. Oh, it is. It's a plane. All right, Mr. Uh, rec reclining chair, you look comfy, but uh, I think I'll sit in you some other time. I'm going to go continue finding some wood. Nice meeting you. See you later. Aha! Look at what we got here. Dude, this is it. Um, now the question is, with both of my hands full, how do I get the wood to my campsite? <laughs> um, okay, we're going to... We're gonna have to do this all weird and stuff. God dang it. I was gone for too long and the fire went out. Break! Millie. You did a horrible job at keeping the fire going for us. I blame this on you. Okay, there we go. Now we got a good fire going again. You know, believe it or not, but building and maintaining a good fire is a lot harder than you think. And there's a metaphor there, somewhere. You just gotta look deeper. Okay, the fire is roaring finally. It's nice, I'm nice and cozy right now. You know, a lot of people ask me, do I ever get spooked or creeped out when I'm camping by myself? in the middle of nowhere like this? And <laughs> the answer to that is absolutely. You know when you're by yourself in situations like this and you start settling down for the night and the sun goes down and the forest gets quiet again, things get really spooky really quickly. <laughs> Especially like when you start turning out your lights, getting ready for bed. It's almost like, yeah, the forest gets quiet at night but like the spooky parts of the forest get louder for you. <laughs> Dude, there's so many times when I genuinely feel like there's someone walking around my van in the middle of the night. There was actually one instance where I was like fearing for my life. I was in the middle of the desert of Nevada at this hot spring and the nearest town was like an hour and a half away and I had this hot spring all to myself. It was in the middle of the desert, surrounded by snow-capped mountains, and it, it was just a beautiful, beautiful landscape. And I had that place to myself for like a week, and I stayed there uh, day and night, just hanging out at the hot spring. During the day, I mean, it was awesome, it was beautiful, but at night, it was like weirdly spooky, because you would think, you know, a desert's really not that spooky, because it's a freaking desert but I don't know man at night it was just pitch black except for the stars in the sky I don't remember the moon being out at all so when you stepped outside you could see the silhouette of the mountains and the stars but you couldn't see in front of you you couldn't see your hands like it was that dark outside but there was one particular night where I had shut up my van and I'm getting ready for bed I'm all cozy in my bed it's kind of chilly and it's all quiet and I'm just about to go to sleep and then all of a sudden, I hear something rustling and tussling right outside my van. And I got freaked out because on the way to this hot spring, I was listening to this podcast called The Black Tapes. Highly recommend it if you like paranormal spooky stuff. So I was listening to that podcast on the way to the hot spring. So I was already on edge at this point. And when I heard that rustling and tussling out there, I immediately thought, Holy crap, it's a killer, I'm about to die. They about to slaughter me and I can't get help because the nearest hospital is an hour and a half away and you know, your mind just starts wandering. And I hear it, whatever it is, I hear it circling around my van. Like literally, it sounds like this. And I'm like, what the? someone outside my van and I'm, I'm literally thinking like all the worst possible scenarios that could happen from this and then it gets quiet and the rustling and tussling stops and it was like a horror movie it was like okay something's about to happen I don't know what it is but I'm on edge I'm not ready for it whatever it is something's about to happen and I'm freaking spooked and it stays quiet for a second and I'm like okay th they didn't walk away whatever it was because I didn't hear them walk away the steps just stopped so immediately I thought, you know, what if they're staring at me through the freaking windows and I have no idea? Because if you look through this window right here, so if you look through this window right here <laughs> that's behind me, as you can tell, you can't see out at night, but people outside can see in at night, which is really freaking creepy. And I kept imagining a face just pressing up against the window, looking at me. 
laying in bed and that just gave me chills down my spine and it's still quiet I don't hear anything and then all of a sudden There was a freaking donkey outside my van, literally right outside my where my bed was, just hee-hawing at my van for some reason, and it scared the crap out of me, but I couldn't help myself but just laugh at the situation because I was genuinely scared that I was about to get murdered in the middle of this desert, but it's just this cute little wandering stray donkey coming to say hi. <laughs> but yeah, that was the moment I realized that there are wild donkeys in the desert of Nevada. Fun fact, if you didn't know. But yeah, I get spooky at night, man. Being by yourself, you start you start thinking about like the worst possible scenarios. You start hearing things that aren't there. You start seeing things that aren't there. Like even right now, if I looked deep into these woods, like I can see like a silhouette of a person if I really wanted to. Yeah, I'm gonna not do that though. I, I don't really want to see a silhouette of a person right now. I'm kind of, you know, I'll do that some other time. Not right now though. All right, I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat tonight. Uh, I actually don't have a lot of options. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. I did not go grocery shopping before I came out here because I'm a stupid, dumb, stupid idiot. Uh, so I'm gonna do like a tofu scramble with this general sal sauce and we're gonna call it stir fry. Two cups of guac hair. <gasps> Perfect. I had exactly a cup of rice. And then we're gonna bring that sucker to a boil. Oh, freak, ow. Okay, let's uh, let's not do that ever again. Someone should take all flammables away from me because I'm very poor at, at using them. Next up, while the rice is coming to a boil, I am going to dry this tofu out. And the way we do that, we just put a little, uh, we just put a little daggum, uh, what's this called? A towel, freak. You put a towel down, Put your tofu down and you want to wrap it up. Just give it a nice little squish. Ooh, might need to sharpen this knife too. It's okay, it's okay though. We're still having fun. We're still gonna make a delicious meal. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter how sharp the knife is. It just matters how much fun you having while you chopping uh, the ingredients up. You know what I'm saying? You got, so these are ghost peppers. Mmm. It's not even hot, bro. It's not even hot. Oh, dang, she boiling already. Okay, 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 chill, 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 chill. I'm gonna be snacking on these peppers, you know what I'm saying? Mmm, they're good. Mmm. I just heard something outside. Hello? Hello? I could have sworn I just heard something outside. Millie, can you go check on that for me, please? Okay, we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Uh, I, uh, you, you know, as long as it doesn't happen again. Whoever's out there, I'm making dinner if you want any. Just, just come on in. Oh! Whoa! I don't know what just happened, but the camera just fell. Okay, is this, is it freaking haunted or something here? Whatever, I don't care. I am going to throw those bad boys in. You see this beautiful tofu right here? Mmm, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna take a bite into it. Watch this. Mmm, I love tofu. Now it's time to throw the tofu in. Yeah. Saute that sucker, get it all nice and brown, or quit, get it crispy. All right, the rice is done, I'm gonna take it off the heat. Tofu's not quite done yet. I'm gonna try this rice though. Mmm! Mmm! Kinda tastes like soap. Okay, everything's almost finished, but it's getting real chilly, so I'm gonna go ahead and close these doors up so we can eat in peace. I'm ready to freaking feast. Let's do this. So we're gonna make a little bed of rice in the bowl, okay? Then I'm going to scrape up some of this tofu and pepper. And then, right on top. I mean, some people cook with this, but for me, I just like putting it on top. Drizzle that sucker on there just like this. 
Oh. Ooh, just like that. Look at that girl. Mm. And before I actually dig in, I'm gonna turn my computer on and boot up some WoW because that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Ooh, girl, here we go. It is a night full of gaming. Got some WoW booted up, ready to game with a delicious meal. Look at that. Look at that beautiful meal right there. It's basic, but I guarantee you it is tasty. Just tofu, pepper, general sal sauce, bada bing, bada boom. You got your pro you got your protein, you got your carbs, and you got your uh, your veggie. I don't know. It's 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 what I had, guys. Okay. It's not the best meal in the world, but let's do a taste test. Mmm. Simple, easy, bada bing, bada boom. That's the way to do it. Dang, that's good. There's actually a lot of people on right now. Holy crap. But yeah. I am gonna quest through the night. Enough talking with my mouth full. That's enough for this video. Mm. Thank you for watching this wild video that I had no plan to film, but it just I just started filming and hopefully it was enjoyable for you. I don't know if it was, but if it was, let me know in the comments. And then share it with a friend who's like really bored today because they need some excitement in their life. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Um, I never know how to close out YouTube videos. I guess, peace out. See you tomorrow. Hope you have a good day at school. Make sure to buckle up your seatbelts and stop at stop signs and don't forget to zip up your pants. Peace out, guys.